Well, it's a beautiful May afternoon here in Suffern, New York. And once again, we are here at Bear Tracks. And this is a familiar sight after all these years. There it is. And who is this taking a stroll in the park? Why, who is it? Look who it is! <laughs> Hello, Jordan Rudis. Hello. How are you doing I'm today? I'm doing very good. It's a wonderful afternoon out here, it isn't is it? It is wonderful. This is a beautiful place. We love it here. This is our home away from home, really away is. from home. Mm -hmm. It's and lovely. Are you happy with the proceedings of the new record? I think I'm very happy with them, actually. I've just been listening to some of the tunes, and they are smoking. 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 You're going to dig it. Yes, you are. Oh, yeah. Are those fingers getting a workout? Oh, they're very nimble. Let's see. They're still moving. Got to keep them in my, in my pockets. So anyway, here we are here at we Bear are. Tracks. And I came to the realization, let me have the famed Bear Tracks on. Here we go. It's now been 10 years this month since we made our first appearance here at Bear Tracks. This is where we did the demos for Atco Records back in May of 91 that got us signed. We did Metropolis, Take the Time, and To Live Forever. And it was right here in this very building. Right there. With the same engineer. Yep. Almost the same band. Mm-hmm. And uh, 10 years later, I have it, the images and words, change of season, scene from memory. And now the new one. Come on, let's go inside. Let's go! I can't believe I'm not holding the camera for once. This is a first. <laughs> yeah, let me do some Wait, video You want to be here. in the video? Wait a second. <laughs> this is, I'm going to do some, some freestyle cutting here. This is, this is not editing that you're going to see. Let's see if this works. This is the real deal. Here we go. Woo! 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 Where's the steady cam when I need it? Stanley Kubrick would have never done a handheld like this. Look who it is! <laughs> oh my god, who is that? Why? It's me. What the? The hairless man. What the? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to present to you John Petrucci, 2001. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I feel like there was a weight lifted off my shoulders, but there was. Something that's uh, something that really concerns me is that I don't know how to write um, really good music anymore. Something happened. It came off and. Yeah. We understand that happened with Metallica, right. Right, right. so of course it'll happen with us. Everything now. That, that I play just sounds like, you know, four, four time and three Ooh, minutes yeah. long. I don't know what it is. I can't do it anymore. So people can expect uh, the new Creed album right, from right. Dream Theater. Exactly. I, I just can't help it because my hair's short, so now it's just... See, the problem is that John, with his short hair now, he's playing four, four songs, three minute l length, but yet because we have long hair now i'm see i'm back in the That's long hair good. club That's we're long. playing 10 minute songs so we're trying to make in nine one. eight so, so we, john does, yeah. does like three songs in the space of our one right exactly so we're doing a lot of guitar loops you know looping the three minutes so it kind of equals what we're doing <laughs> <laughs> we're making it work i think i think i might grow my hair see the thing i worked out that is if i grow my beard longer <laughs> my music gets heavier that's the weird thing if i grow my beard longer it sounds heavier and if I grow it really long, it sounds like ZZ Top. So, uh -huh. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so there you go. Creed meets ZZ Top. Right. In the guitar land. That's right. Keyboard land. Keyboard. I'm growing my hair longer, so to make up for his short hair. <laughs> but I don't know what's happening. I can't write any music either. So. <laughs> you want to take, uh, take a tour in the what do we go check in the doors? Let's, Let's see if we can... This is open. this is where uh, John Myung is staying. Oh, so people would want to know that. And uh, this is also where we recorded the audio commentary for the DVD, right through those doors. Right through those doors. And look! Oh, it's Jay Beckenstein! Oh, hey! Oh, the the famed Jay Beckenstein! I knew you guys were filming. <laughs> I had to come by. Female. Proprietor. <laughs> yes, <there you laughs> Proprietor here and the, the, the honorable sixth member of Dream Theater. Oh. Well, actually ninth or tenth if you count all the X members. Much, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Jay actually lives next door and as you all know, he's guested on several of our albums at this point. So let's take a walk in. A lovely job. <laughs> Here is uh, the latest movie poster, which I'm sure all of you out there have bought. Except yours doesn't come with these great autographs. We're surviving on a very strict diet of <laughs> Dr. Pepper and barbecue chips. We love it. And Cokes and all the good stuff. This is Mr. Greg Timmons. Hello. How are you? Uh, I'm just here for the food, as you can see. <laughs> oh. Who's coming down the alleyway? There he is. Whoa, Whoa. celebrating his 10th anniversary of a dream theater, Mr. Doug Oberkirker. Oh, chocolate. 
Wait, actually, this is a very important thing. Doug has a new label. I have to write it. Oh, I can't write it. Oh, you got to draw me a picture of. Doug, are you enjoying this engine session? Engineer. Engine. Engine. Ear. Ear. That's right. I'm enjoying this. Session. Engineer to the stars. Right on. Or to dream big. Exactly. Hey, what do you mean by that? And what do you what do you know? Oh, this is what you're supposed to do. I've seen it. An authentic yeah. Dream Theater gold record, uh, although you can't focus yeah. on it. Why are you whacking nice. like that? It says whacking on that. Break it. Yep. This is the repaired equipment pile. One keyboard, one power amp. This one keyboard, good. one power amp, and this is uh, two boxes of Melody Master snares. And this is a Kurzweil 2600 in the box, leaving it there, just in case. Let's go upstairs. No, thank you. Mm, good. Every morning they supply us with fresh bagels and muffins, fruit, coffee. coffee. We, we really, we don't play music here. We just hang out and eat. We're open because we get a headache from all the notes. <laughs> These are all the CDs that have been done here. And uh, we have a couple up here. You know that one. You know that one. Doug actually, this wasn't live at Bear Tracks, but it was mixed here. Doug mixed it. Seemed to forget that that one was with Doug as well. This is our favorite album. Yeah, this was when we, we did a, uh, a Hebrew-Israeli album. We, we, we went gold in, in Israel. Who the hell is that? <laughs> David Bros. <laughs> and this is the room where all the magic happens. This is JP. Not our JP, but Bear Tracks JP. Junior. And of course... Some of you hardcore fans will know the immortal Burt Baldwin. How you doing? And look at this, my young man, Is in the house. Yeah. Say a few words. Uh, what should I say? They're hanging on your every word. Come on, man, make it good. I want to know if you really do talk. Don't say keep it spooky. Give him a trill, give him a good trill then. Please, go away. John's got a, a bit of a collection here. Am I allowed to show this, John? John, give him one good bass. You should have hit the basses first. John is using an assortment of basses on the sound. Do we have any more light here? Or is it? Of course, there's his good old-fashioned Yamaha six-string. But he's also experimenting with this five-string. And also, this wonderful Hamer eight-string. So lots of new noises and sounds and gadgets on this album. <laughs> And, uh, of course, this session would not be possible without the aid of, and I'm not talking about Steve and Joe, I'm talking about Brittany and her lovely navel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, baby. Show them, uh, Cyber World. We like it. This is, uh, mine and John's office down here. This is his seat, which is occupied by Tybo tapes. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is my world. This is where I do all my emailing and... Stay on top of uh, cyberspace and all that stuff, and uh, magazines and CDs. Here's this album's Inspiration Corner. Anybody want to lay out Inspiration Corner along the board here? This is what's fueling this album's sessions. We have one nine inch nails downward spiral. Spiral. Drum roll, please. One sound garden. Don't give it away. What the hell's the name of this album? Super unknown. The great tool, Enema, better known as Enema. Pantera. Right now, there's fans in Paris or absence screaming, Pantera! Slayer! Ooh. Do I detect a heavy edge with this album? Got some 80s uh, happening here. Look at this last three here. Ah, a bit of that commercial U2 techno industrial. This was used for inspiration on the, uh, the eight string. There was that. The eight string inspiration. Of course, we don't go anywhere without our own copy of Rooster. <laughs> Kevin Gilbert Thud. Ah, my personal favorite. That's a bootleg I brought in. Very good bootleg. There's going to be some rap on this. Oh, uh, there's going to be a. Co that's a controversial entry right there, ladies and gentlemen. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. And this is the surprise twist. Some bar talk. Ah, uh, here's the biggest ah, one. Ah, and this is our biggest one. What numbers, Now, actually, I know our biggest one. Why don't you man the camera for a minute, and I'll, I'll go get John's biggest guitar influence for this album. Ah. Uh-oh, what's he getting? John, did you think of what to say yet? 
I'm no? still working on it. You still working on it? Yeah. All right. I'll get, I'll get it. I'll get it to We have a progress chart, which is blurry. This is uh, Mastering Central over here. This is going 24 hours a day. The computer, the uh, CD writer, what are all these things? All the DAP player, the hard drive, regular we a uh, manufacturing plan over here. <laughs> this is uh, uh, John's yeah. influence for this album. All right. Big influence. Actually, I it's not the music at all that's <laughs> an influence. It's the facial hair combination. Well, that's your next, uh, your next move. He's got a full beard, but he's got no mustache. <laughs> and let me show qu quickly something here. This is the progress chart, but I can't let you see, you know, how many songs or the length of the songs. But I will give you a quick flash. Oh, lots of red checks. That means we're making progress. And this is our, our calendar. This is where we started. March 12th. That was our month of April. That is May, where we are now. That's the G3 tour. <laughs> <laughs> That's my clinic tour. I'll point to be the Vanna White. September, <laughs> there's Vanna. <laughs> <laughs> This is, uh, this is what's happening tomorrow. Mike's going to. Uh, I'm going to visit you. That's right. All of right. you. We're here, and he's going there. Bert, how's your uh, take on this album so far? Uh, it's rocking. I'm enjoying it. Enjoying every minute of it. Y'all are gonna love it. Yeah, baby. You're gonna love it. Hey, come into this room. Oh, let, me show, okay. let me show a little bit of keyboard world here. Uh, keyboard world. Tour. Keyboard world. Keyboard. Ladies and gentlemen, this is keyboard world. This is the master controller. This is kind of my office as well. I kind of crammed it all in one space here. And uh, give him one note off the album. Just give him like <laughs> a, a bar. You can see of that music. this is our new uh, Dream Theater's new Titanium Mac. And uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's set up to play that mic. I don't think uh, so. And that's running. So the Titanium is running uh, a little bit of Firewire action here. Firewire audio interface. This new Mark of the Unicorn thing, which is also controlling a couple of racks. Uh -oh. And Mike is about to give you uh, get two bars. A little preview. <laughs> uh, all right. I don't even recognize that yet. What the hell are we listening? What is that? <laughs> Wait, we're giving him a preview of somebody else's album. <laughs> yeah, this is our album. That ain't working, buddy. <laughs> Let's show him the live room. Okay. Excuse me. You want to film or you want to? Yeah, I'm going to film. Okay. You're going to give us the tour. You want to film? You can go through. Okay. okay. Yeah. Here we go. This is a fancy oh. room. This is for we, we actually do have a singer in this band, believe it or not. We're, we do. One of these days when he decides to show up, he will sing into this microphone. Uh, okay, I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> this is uh, for all you uh, guitar audio file vintage heads. Uh -huh. This is the shit. Oh boy. And these are the settings. All okay, right? let's so see if we can set, zoom in on settings. Those are the settings. Everybody copying that down? All right. Okay. There's another one. That's yeah, the, the settings. JP. And it, here's some inspiration too. Okay, what do we got? Oh, look at this. Are all the lights on in here as bright as I can go? Double check. Actually, it's kind of dark. Mr. Morse. Okay. Some more inspiration. Where is it? Oh, look at this. Oh, this is... Okay. That's where all the heavy sounds stem from. This little room. That's where all the guitar amps are. Here's a fancy... Uh... And now we're walking into the live room to check out the guitars. And over to you. Mr. Courtney. Thank you, sir. This is a uh, called a silhouette bass, which I actually have strung up as a baritone guitar. Mm. And it is very cool. I use it on one song and it sounds awesome. Don't give away the company secrets now, pal. <laughs> what else? It's like Big Bottom by Spinal Tap with right. all bass players. We, got, we have a uh, signature seven on. string here, as you can see. There it is. We have our touring racks, which have been destroyed from uh, months of touring with Dream Theater. We have a nice six string with a nice red pearl finish at first. There's the, the pedal board from hell. And if anybody's wondering how I mic my sound to get my sound, there it is. That's the mic. So write that down. Okay, we gotta wrap things up because uh, we're probably starting to boil them at this point, but let me just give a quick, quick view of the new monster. Whoa. Takes two seats. I actually grew a second ass for this album. From all those chips. <laughs> but uh, I actually have my old 
faithful red and white. This is my old Japanese kit here. This is was my backup kit in case I needed it, but I ended up going with the new kit, which is still being built at the time. This is this is just a prototype. Yeah, want me to film No, oh, I'm done. All right, I'm done too. <laughs> Have we uh, uh, explored the, all the possibilities here? Studio B is up there. That's where John's writing all his G3 music. All right. And uh, that's about it. That's really the extent of it. There's just a lot of gear in this place. Everywhere you look, there's amps and gear piled up. It's like a big giant music store. Let's take you in for a final goodbye from everybody. Did you get the backyard? Should we get the back? All right, we'll get a quick tour of the backyard. It's basically a parking lot. The piss bucket. This is the swimming pool that we always look at every year, but never use. Actually, they haven't even opened it yet this year. They can show up the Dream Theater line of automobiles back here. <laughs> no, the, they're going to trace the license, pl license plates and come and get us. <laughs> ah! <laughs> this one's mine. It doesn't have a license plate. At least you can't see it from this angle. This is the Jordan Mobile. One of the Jordan. One of, uh, that's why I knew he was going to video, so I took it off. Well, ah, there it is. The Jordan Mobile. That's right. All righty. The sound of children's laughter. That's right. Always a, a pleasant uh, diversion from the evil riffs that are coming out of this place. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, from three-fifths of DT, three-quarters of LTE. <laughs> Good night. Have fun. It's been nice visiting you. Thank you for coming to visit us. See you later. Come back and see us again sometime soon. Just not that soon. And we'll see you on the road next year. Ciao. See ya.
go. from the yawning that the Canuck is here and the vocals are underway.
that there will be a tremendous amount of lobbying in Washington, D.C. Scientists, entertainers, people who want to see this research will be coming forward. as far as